And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Nate Tippery. Don't know why I pa- I, do, I do that all the time. And I've noticed that when I've I hate watching myself back on the recordings but the one thing i notice is i do a brief pause after i say welcome back ladies and gentlemen yeah you sound really and dumb. i sound, I sound yeah. super dumb like a <laughs> big dumb stupid dumb stupid imagine moron. could never but i would never anyways i'll try to work on that i apologize <laughs> get better i know this is a learn we're a growing podcast learning <laughs> podcast. what do we call it Oh, that's interactive. That doesn't make sense in that situation. We are a growing podcast. We are learning. We I are thought the we learned big ourselves. boys. <laughs> we are growing big boys. Anyways, I'm your host, Nate Tippery. To the right of me is the community manager, Brian Lawyer. And of course, the illustrious, the fabulous. Illustrious. The one, I better save these words for the mad that we're about to do so. But True. It's our uh, audio and technical engineer, Jeffrey Mayfield. Ooh. Ooh. And of course... Per tradition, Mad Lib. Mad it's Lib, Mad time. Lib. No, it's Mad <laughs> Take. It's Lib time. Wait, Mad Take. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Taken time. <laughs> mad Taken. Yeah, okay. Mad All take. right. Let me take this mic. Oh, and here we go. And here's this. This is the first for our, our Mad Take. It's actually deciding which one we're going to do. All right. Typically, we do now, that beforehand. Now, you guys comment. <laughs> yeah. right oh, now, no, now, it's not going to work. Let us know which one you want to do. <laughs> Hopefully, you pick what we're picking. All right. Let's see. We have Be Kind. Uh, who cares about that? Letter from Camp. It's a free letter from Camp. Sorry. What? Free? So, yeah, whenever I hovered over, it says free letter. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to pay oh, for that one. Oh, skip down. <laughs> skip. Can I have your daughter's hand? Yeah. Should probably do that one. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Ooh, that one will what? be... What? What? <laughs> Well, it's not, Ed, this one's Ed, not free. Ed, Ed, no, they Ed. haven't sponsored Okay, us. there we go. So no silly word. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great. Silly name, Nate. Um. Wait, is it supposed to be a girl's name? It doesn't, it it does, just says, it doesn't it, have it doesn't a gender say. on it. It doesn't say. A- any silly name. Brian. No, <laughs> not funny. Uh, Brian Ray Lawyer. Not funny. Not a funny, <laughs> not a funny so name. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, oh how bad off. is that? Oh, how, how bad, bad is, is that, that? Yeah, in the mic? To be off. fair, we did the all the test recordings with it, and it wasn't bad at all. Oh, that goodness. It's going to be could, so bad. We could Maybe be we nice and cool. Except yeah. for when Jeff moved his mic, and he had to pick it up to do the Mad Lib, and now it's in there the whole time. All right. <laughs> Whoops. Silly name. <laughs> Why? So, okay. So, this name is not silly. Okay. Well, we can't but use it was the it first then. thing that popped in my head, and it was Ronald. <laughs> like, yeah, that's pretty silly. Nice. <laughs> Ronald. But, I mean, we can go with that, or we can think of something a little more creative. Ronald's a funny name. Ronald or Ronnie? <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> what, how about Doofus? <laughs> doofus. That's the silly <laughs> word I want to use. <laughs> doofus. No. Doofus hey, that's Ronald. my silly word. You can't yeah. have it. A verb. Uh, <laughs> gallivanting. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Somehow I spelled it. What? Okay. Now, Nate. Um, Let's go with space shuttle. Space shuttle. Space. I should just put a space. <laughs> <laughs> space shuttle well, body part plural Brian <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the one that Chi Gray gave me yesterday uh, on the on the uh, Mad Lib we did on stream Lift notes? Oh that was mine never mind no, that was yours he said <laughs> balls okay not as funny as the one I would have came up with that's fair I know <laughs> Fem- nostrils <laughs> female name 
Let's see, can I have your daughter? Candace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, please. Okay, well, I'm taking the next one. Then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do agree. Verb <laughs> ending uh... in ED. Um, Godded. <laughs> what? What? That's not a word. You, you got godded. <laughs> Gouted? <laughs> it's you got got. I just thought of gout. That's what I thought you said at first. ED, Brian. Well, you did. I was correct in your grammar. Run. To my incorrect grammar. What'd you say? Run. 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 (laughs) Randed. Fasted. There we go. Hey, that actually worked. Now, Nate. I wasn't. My to you. We skipped him. Oh, well, Well, you did Candace. Yeah, with me. Oh, that's right. So, Brian. So, let's go with Brian. Um, I personally place your thing, Brian. (laughs) <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay. Um, bird. Boar. Boar. Burb. Bo- and boards. <laughs> Burb. Burbs. <is> Boar. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Boar. <laughs> Noun plural. Uh, Boribs. Uh, uh, vampires. <laughs> they Vampire. What? <laughs> I thought we were going back to Nate to reset our cycle back to correct. Oh, okay. Wait, he said no, no. I, I, I'm uh, yeah, we're incorrect. Sorry, go ahead. Go oh ahead. no, wait, that was I, okay. keeping the order incorrect. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I, we'll, we'll, uh, who cares? We'll go clockwise <laughs> how we're seated. So vampires, unless you had something that okay. you really okay, wanted, yeah. but so we're going. Okay, I got you now. Now to you, verb. Mm. Heed. <laughs> Lawnmower. Dang it, that ended in ED. They used that one earlier. Yeah, true. Lawn mower. Lawn mower. I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, okay, uh, an occupation. Isn't it crazy that everybody can read the screen now? <laughs> now you can I know. Brian. What? <laughs> You have. Oh a, yeah. You fix your eyes. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like the screen recording thing that we had talked no. about off stream just a second ago. I'm like, they can't read the screen. We just talked yeah. about how we weren't doing that <laughs> yet. Okay, occupation. Let's go with. I don't know why. Hmm. Let's go with plumber. Yeah. Did we do that? You did that one yesterday. We did that one the other. Oh, we did that one the other yesterday. That's yeah. right. We'll go back Nobody to. Nobody knows. <laughs> unless they watch the stream <laughs> <Unless> watch the <laughs> number <laughs> yeah just go ahead put it no 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 oh, okay, no we, we gotta come up with something different no come that on. one's good that one's not the one we used last time yeah but we've we've done it before no come we're on. not on this come one, one. alright whatever children I swear <laughs> fine there we go <laughs> <laughs> never use that one is it whose turn is it is it Yours. mine uh, it's getting hot <laughs> for real. <laughs> so fast, <laughs> sweating. It's yes. time to take off something. Silly, silly word, word silly word. I was silly, silly word again. Oh, yeah. Let's go with onomatopoeia. <laughs> oh no! Good luck. Z a z a onomatopoeia. Yeah. Uh, I I meant to put an N at the start of that. How close was I? Huh. Not, not too. Oh, I put I put an A there. I got everything else right, but the A. Well, I put an A after the T instead of an O. That was pretty close. Rip. Silly name. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Let's see. Page. <laughs> Hopefully she watches this. That's not this. a silly name. You're right. You're right. Can't Here be me. Page. Doofen. Joe. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Let's go, go mad. mad. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> that would... Who's, who's I read, reading it? I read one last time. Who read the one after that? Or I read two ago. Whose turn Je- is it? This, did this ne- is did Nate go then last time. So it's your I, turn. turn? Okay. Yeah, there we go. I no, you did the last time. I did the first. It doesn't matter. You go, Jeff. Okay. okay. Will you let me gallivanting your space shuttle? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, you forgot the beginning. 
at the oh, top. Dear. dear Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Doofus, <laughs> <laughs> will you let me? I think it should have just been Gallivant. Gallivant yeah. your space shuttle ever since I have laid balls <laughs> on <laughs> <campus. No. laughs> Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, I have fasted <laughs> madly in love with her. I wish that she will be the blurb of my vampires. <laughs> that someday we will peed happily ever after. I have a lawnmower as a plumber that pays six thousand nine hundred and sixty nine dollars each month. Hey, make it bank. Oh Not my god! For real. I promise to sweating Candace <laughs> with kindness and respect. <laughs> Sincerely, onomatopoeia doofus words. Onomatopoeia doofus words. Onomatopoeia doofus words. You can see those are two uh, massive words. You can say real. really, really quickly. <laughs> and what's it? What's great though uh, for Candace? That is, in case nobody knows Candace. Uh, Candace, we doofus. know her very well. <laughs> who's who's Candace? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Brian, you don't know Candace by this point, then you have some other problems. Uh, but what's great is that Candace Doofus gets to keep her last initial. For real. So That's now true. she'll just be Candace Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> She's going from Candace Doofus to Candace Doofenshmirtz. It's not that far off. <laughs> this is uh, a match made in heaven. Let me gallivant your space shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since right, I laid the balls on balls. <laughs> <laughs> what a great choice of words. This is innuendo hour on Lost in Thought. Send us your best innuendo. Um, I think we really own that lib. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's our specialty. It's, it's what we do best. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, that was, that was good. pretty good. I'm actually I'm actually in tears. <laughs> <laughs> it it back on so bad. It, yeah, tears and sweat are pouring down. <laughs> it wasn't even yeah. bad earlier. That's true. <laughs> but, guys, for the first time ever, we can look at our thought bubble for what's next. <laughs> but it's actually behind us, so it does us no good. <laughs> you can look at Jeff's thoughts, <laughs> which is backwards on your screen, because I'm recording from the front camera. Of this <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> This is how Jeff sees the world, ladies and gentlemen. This is not actually... It? Um, editing or will it break everything? Maybe. Good. I've never tried. Oh, uh, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about it either. Whoops. I didn't. Whoops. <laughs> this is just how I usually record it. Yeah, true. So then I can see the angle that I'm working with. Yeah. It's just an easy fix. Next week, you just it's write it all backwards. Side. Yeah, write the whole it. thing backwards next week, and, and it'll be fine. <laughs> so I, I just write, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it's more of a uh, it's more of a uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, so hey our uh, first topic says what we're looking at yeah i'm looking at jeff right now so, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be yeah. talking about the life of jeff uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a wild one <laughs> oh it's, it's something that. else yeah but what i meant by that is the chalkboards that you guys are the chalkboard paint that you guys Ooh. are looking out that came uh that was brought to us by Paige. Yes. Thanks, Thank you, Paige, Paige for uh and my fourteen dollars. Oh, and and Jeff's fourteen dollars. That <laughs> is true. <laughs> Thanks, Paige, for your fourteen dollars <laughs> that you're giving Jeff. Jeff, why are you the way that you are? <laughs> He's just eating chips. Why are you the way you are? Even why are you hating on a man trying to eat Eat some Pringles, dude. For Come on. Real. I am a growing boy. <laughs> it was so loud. He needs my food. <laughs> he needs his calories, Brian. <laughs> we forgot to put some in the middle. No, we didn't. We have an eraser. Strong. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. It was blocked out by Everybody my chair. Look at the eraser. Yeah. It's a nice look eraser. Look how different it is than everything else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, my water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small in the camera. <laughs> it, it can be seen, though, right? Yeah. It's perfect. And they just put this Nate. water bottle. It, you better tilt that so it doesn't say the name on the front. Oh, yeah, my bad. Oh, Nate that's... sticks the eraser where? <laughs> oh, please. We're not <laughs> just use the same title as last week. Our, cli our click <laughs> same thumbnail clickbait and title didn't do as good as our other yeah, titles. We try to clickbait people. Dang. Go back to the other one. However, in looking for chainsaw sounds, sure. I, I I wasn't able to. We watch. did learn quite a bit about clickbait. Yeah. So when Jeff was learning I for was, chain, was, looking for chainsaw, I was sounds. looking for a chainsaw noise because they said to overdub the end of the last podcast with chainsaw noises since we couldn't start the chainsaw. 
which I did. And looking for it, I was like, I searched chainsaw noises. And the first video was this chainsaw that was being held by this girl. Honestly, at that point, I really wasn't looking at who was holding the chainsaw because it was a six foot long chainsaw. And I was like, oh my goodness, I got to watch this. This is thing is massive. Then I look, he has 20 million views <laughs> on this video. And I'm like, how is that even possible? Like, it's not that interesting, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I realized that every thumbnail of this video has the same woman wearing the same thing. And it's always pictured of her from the back <laughs> holding a chainsaw. Oh, no. and, <laughs> and every comment was exactly how you would expect it to be. Anyway, they had those 20 million <laughs> views in the last two months. Yeah. Oh on my that video. Goodness. And I look, and every video that has her as the thumbnail has at least like 2 million views. <laughs> and there were two videos that didn't, and they each had 10,000 views. <laughs> and I was like, okay. We, we know what we're doing. We, we see what they figured out worked for yeah, them. for real. And every, every comment was just like, wow, what a machine. <laughs> and then they were like, I guess the chainsaw's pretty nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! No, okay, oh, I this can't do this. <laughs> Dude, gotta start this generation, oh goodness, sex appeal. It it, oh. it works as an advertising <laughs> method. Jeez! I, I, by that I mean chainsaws. I'm yeah, chainsaws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jeff. Jeff, stop <laughs> eating in the mind. Dude, you you looked away, you, and that was still, yeah, I still, still heard it. caught it. It was crazy. <laughs> but anyways, back to the original topic. Oh, our Ooh. amazing thought bubbles, thought bubbles, thought bubbles. Thought we bubbles. Got thought bubbles. So, so yeah, this is chalk paint. I actually never heard of this before yeah. until you guys had mentioned it. I'm like, yeah. this is such a cool, yeah, cool and innovative idea. And you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Jeff. thank you. Goodness. <laughs> But yeah, it's so cool. So hopefully we'll be able to put all of our, our topics um, up there. Up there, because sometimes I, I like to forget to announce what we're going to be talking about. So this will yeah. cover cover our butts if that, that were to happen. So so yeah, so I'm looking forward to the new edition. We're always looking to innovate Give and us ideas. incorporate new ideas that you can provide to us. If you <laughs> just put it in the comments. What? You can still hear it. There's no shot. Yes. I heard the whole thing. Yes. Oh, well, the noise gate might have got it on the recording, though. That's true. true. That's true. But no, I still heard it in my ears. Well, and also, I'm like, we are turned way up. That's so true. That we don't talk loud. Yeah. I would say, I didn't think about that. But yeah, I could definitely still hear Just it. Just tip for all of you future podcasters out there. <laughs> all you future podcasters. Max the volume so people <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> The headset volume, yeah. not the recording volume. No, then you could hear the chips. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we got a lot in terms of NBA free agency this week. There oh is some crazy goodness. stuff I mean, going. It was probably a lot the, today, just yeah. today in general. Yeah, but yeah. Free, it's probably free, been more since we started that we're oh, gonna I'm, miss. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm sure. I am sure. <laughs> Let me stop this recording. <laughs> no, <laughs> we gotta we gotta do it again. <laughs> so, uh, free agency. <laughs> Uh, this has probably been the most eventful free agency since LeBron, Cleveland, and I this would year's say. and last year's were both really eventful. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Which, yeah, I and ironically, I, most of it's not even has to do. Most of it doesn't even have to do with free agents. No, a lot of true. trades. It's just yeah, no, one hundred percent. So, but well, a lot of those trades are also teams setting up, gearing up to sign free agents, or in the now KD sweepstakes that exist. Yeah. So we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking a little bit about the Overwatch 2 beta. Um, <clears throat> we'll also be talking a little bit about uh, YouTube's... Uh, I don't want to phrase this. Happy 4th of July! Awfulness. And <laughs> that yes, wasn't Jeff, what you, that was. you skipped. Oh, I was going to go back to that. <laughs> I was, I was going to get there, Jeff. And our subs. Yeah, That's what sub. I'm talking about. YouTube. Yeah. Miss, yeah. Let's just take all of Nate's words. <laughs> That's what I, we'll get there. You guys are spoiling it for the people. That was already <laughs> on the ball. But no, no, I'm talking about the more in depth. Yeah, that. But what you guys oh. said was on in no, on, gotcha. on, on, on the board. You're right. All right. You're right, Jeff. What are we, are we ready for? A free agent frenzy. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Kick us off, Ryan. Uh, Katie and Kyrie failed. Um, they're both. What? 
want <laughs> traded, except I saw it today. Did you see that they're not honoring Kyrie's request? I don't know what nice. In terms request. of they still plan to trade him, but they could care less where he wants to go. They will send him right. to whoever offers them the most. To be because, fair, they have every right to yeah, do that's that. What I mean, that's fair. <laughs> they're not happy with him. But he wants to go to L.A. L.A. has an offer for him. But if somebody outbids L.A., then they'll be like, I right. deuces. Because he did nothing for them and set out half the year and pretty much caused the downfall of this entire team. Yeah. And Which, so I thought that was interesting. So How much anyone, cap space? Or L.A. would it be either Clippers? No, it'd be Lakers. Lakers? Okay, so he wants. He's Lakers. trying to force his way to the Lakers. Gotcha. He wants a daddy LeBron back. back. Yeah. yeah. Which is the only reason mainly why because <laughs> he wants, I mean, he wants to go there. And the big issue is that they would have to take Russ back. And they don't really want Russ. <laughs> I don't think anyone really wants Russ. Because they had to pair Russ with Ben Simmons. And that leaves you with the worst shooting backcourt of all time. No. Yeah, it's pretty no, close. You, you still got DeAndre Jordan. No, you don't. He signed with the Nuggets. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, now, well, I guess, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Nobody told me that. <laughs> He's Jokic's backup now. It, it, okay, also, Jokic, I'm pretty sure. a $60 million player option. Also, did you see, just side note, talk about 2K for a second? 2K23, right? 23 on the cover. Jeff, would you stop doing whatever you're doing? We're, we're professional 20, podcasters 23 here. on the cover, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. They have the choice <laughs> between Magic or Michael Jordan and LeBron James to yep. put on this year's right. 223 cover. Yep. Uh-huh. Haven't they been on, like... They chose kids? Devin Booker. Yep. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. Run that past me one more time. So, so it's 2K23, so there's going to be a big 23 yeah. on the cover. Yes, and they... Two of the greatest two, basketball two, players okay, so of all time. 23 is one of the most legendary numbers. No, no, I understand right. that part. Yeah. It's just, it was between... You, you just... Because it was between Devin Booker, LeBron... No, they, was, they, they could have. They had the opportunity oh, to put anyone they, they want on there it. There was uh, like a... No, there wasn't a list. There was a list. They chose... That's what it, okay. They just choose you know, whoever they want. They just really. choose whoever they want. And they have the option of... The two greatest players to ever play the NBA both wore 23. Yes. <clears throat> and they went with Devin Booker. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, LeBron and Michael Jordan have been on. I'm sure there'll be special editions to promote uh, yeah. a higher paid. They could have went with Curry. And I will buy it. <laughs> Curry, after he won a championship, Jokic won two MVPs. Yep. And we Jovic. went with Devin Booker. Could have put Jovic on it. True. Nikola Jovic, not Jokic. He plays for the you Heat. could have put the 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 all star the, the on the star oh, wait what Andrew Wiggins right because he was <laughs> yeah for real all star starter from the yeah. all star starter Andrew you might as well they did just as much <laughs> true he has more rings than Booker yeah that's true that's a fact that's a truer no I don't even it's not even that I don't like Devin Booker it's just that I feel like there were better options oh, and they didn't use them but Brian he scored seventy against the Celtics and lost that one yeah, time yeah and 70. I love that he lost it makes me so happy because every time that somebody <laughs> says didn't he score seventy once I get to say yeah and he lost <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man but yeah so that happened in the midst of all the free agent frenzy it was right after free he signed day. his two hundred and Twenty million dollar max. Yeah, you see, yep. Jokic in his yep. last year of his deal gets sixty million. Yep, I almost just said that like five minutes ago. This is the. I didn't hear it. <laughs> did you say it? I did. Actually. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear it. Yeah, why don't you try I listening? That. I bet you Jeff. look at the board, board. Brian. <laughs> it's not on the board. <laughs> yes. <Duh. laughs> that You're right. it. I should have known. <laughs> it's a duh. So, so, Jokic. He's the highest paid player ever, ever. right? This is the largest yep. contract in NBA history. Yep. Which yeah. was fair. And right before that, it was Carl Anthony Towns. And right before that, it was Devin Booker, which all happened within the same hour of each other. Nice. And Carl Anthony Towns and Devin Booker have the same agent. She is loaded. She's, yeah. yeah. She, I wonder what kind of, how much like royalty she gets. I don't know, but it doesn't even matter. Even if it yeah. wasn't very much, it would be plenty. Oh, yeah, obviously. It would be but I, I'm kind of counting. That's around. crazy. But yeah, so they all signed. KD sweepstake is in hot pursuit right now. 
everyone's <laughs> gearing up their offers and none of them are what the Nets want. Well, so, Brian, well, if you, know, you just give us your entire roster from one player, we'll accept it. Your well, entire well, roster and your two all-stars who are both under 25 for our 34-year-old well player. next five years of picks. Yeah. <laughs> we might do it. And then it's like, how much leverage do you have for a guy that said he's not coming back? Right. Yeah, like... Like, yeah. No one should have to give up that much because he said he's not going back. Yeah, for sure. Now, I guess you technically could just try and force him to come back because he doesn't have a no trade clause. So right. he could, or you could trade him wherever you want. So if somebody, which I think would be ironic, if the Oklahoma City Thunder and their 42 picks come calling, <laughs> that's so then true. He, you could trade him back to Oklahoma City and there's nothing he could do to stop it. Yeah, that would be funny. It would be very funny. It would and be then, hilarious. And then you, because Sam Presti, then has lost picks. He's like, hey, I need some picks. And the Lakers are like, hey, what about Russ and a first? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, we'll take a first. Yeah, we'll take a first. And then we <laughs> got <laughs> Russ and KD again. Surely we can do it this time. <laughs> Run it back. Yeah. You know what? We might as well get hardened too while we're here. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, Use the other 20 picks they have. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 20 picks in Chad Holmgren? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. So what are so Celtics got Brogdon. That's wild still. That trade shouldn't have happened. That trade was crazy. That was a, a extreme a phenomenal deal for I, I honestly I think it's best I think it's for phenomenal both. for the Celtics, but I understand why the Pacers did it. Yeah. Right. I think it's best for both parties. I think it's that a they good, I'm gonna guess this means they couldn't get more. Because I think the assumption immediately from everybody was wow, you could have got more for that. Right. But I don't think I don't, you could have got more unless you so. took on a bad contract. And this this way is the only way they probably could have done it without taking on a bad contract. Yeah. Yep. Because all well, the other deals had a contract like Russ in it. Right. Like the and one that got offered from the Lakers was, and I guess also, you know what THT is. Right. And yeah. given Aaron Neesmith, who I've watched firsthand for two years now, has not looked good. But he plays harder than just about anyone. Right. And he puts his body on the line for it all the time. Yeah. I mean, the man is reckless with his body. He, they called him Crash, as in Crash Bandicoot, because he just <laughs> threw his head into things to try and die. Like, he would throw his head into like the stand of the goal just to try and save a loose ball. And it's like, my guy, I appreciate the effort, but it's not that important. It is the first quarter. Like it's, like, it's like, we're three minutes into the game and you subbed in off the bench. Please relax. He's a businessman making business moves. But, but I think that the, there is a lot more upside with him as a, over a THT or somebody like that, that you could have gotten from somebody else. A THT. Yeah. Taylor Horton Tucker. Yeah. You got to throw that out. For, I'm sure the viewers probably don't but, know. <laughs> um, which he's, you know what he's going to be, essentially. Right. Yeah. He's not developed much for the last two years. He is what he is. Yep. And he's not bad, but can't really <laughs> shoot, but he's good defensively, can guard all five positions. Yeah, because he's 6'4 with a 7'8 yeah. wingspan. <laughs> I, mean, he's mad, I mean, he's big. He just can't really <laughs> shoot. But it's, So you know what he is, and then you also know what, I mean, you don't want Russ, but you get the picks. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. their picks will, depending on how they retool out around LeBron, would most likely be better. Right. Yeah. But uh, it's just the issue of getting forty-seven million in salary, yeah. yes. and so this way is the only way you could do it to keep your max slot open and get a first. They got a first back, and they got their max slot open, which is they can try and use on like Aiden or somebody who they've been linked to a ton. And I yeah. don't think the Pacers are in win now mode. I think well. they're in win now, win ish now mode. That exact. I think they're win. They're Isn't more that of, the last twenty years. <laughs> it, that's fair. <laughs> I think the, that the if they now, get, I think if they get Aiden. Yeah. I think if they get Aiden, they very easily could be a playoff team. Oh, yeah. They yeah, should well, yeah. be like a yeah. six to eight seed. Right. At least they'll be in the play in and they could probably get in. Yeah. For sure. But I think, and I think that there's a chance those guys develop. The issue that I do see for them in the near future, being an Indiana guy and following the Pacers, even though I'm not a fan, is I was not aware how old Chris Duarte is. Yeah. Yep. To be your young stud that you want to develop and already be 26 is a bit of a problem. Yeah. Yep. Because apparently he was a fifth year senior. I didn't yeah. know that. It's not great. 
<laughs> but that could be an issue. But other than that, I mean, Halliburton is finally gets to play point guard for the yep. first time in his career. Yeah, I think yeah. positionally. And he's been begging to play point guard since he was in Sacramento and they had De'Aaron Fox, and then he got traded to a place where they had Brogdon. Yep. And so right. he never got to. And the man was averaging seven to eight assists as a shooting guard. So right. you give him on ball full time, Pacers could be looking pretty good if you get him a big to pair him with. The only Which thing, I guess he has Miles Turner right now. But Right. The only thing I don't like about all of it is I just don't like Banker's Lie or Gainbridge. Sorry. What? Uh, it's very vertical. Right. Yeah. And it feels like everything is on top of the court. Right. Which, when you're up high, is not a problem. But when you're down low. Right. Well, I guess when you're up high, it does feel weird to be that vertical. Right. Because you're just looking down on the game. But when you're. Down low, it feels like people are like right on top of you. Right. But in terms of capacity, it's pretty good. Well, that's true. And I mean, everything is pretty new. It probably nice. does help it feel louder for a smaller it's market. It's more of an auditorium, kind of like true. a, um, we would see in. It is weirder like, for a performance. The outdoor yeah. layout and concourse set is weird. Yeah. I will say that. Like getting into the arena. Yeah, that you is... feel like you walk into the arena and you're in this giant concourse that has nothing to do with the arena. Right. Yeah. And they don't ever do anything in it. Yeah, I know. And it's they just like, what's like the have... point of? Yeah, they should have like their drum line or something out there yeah, doing like, stuff. Just and something. Throw something stuff. in that in that concourse all the time, which I guess they do sometimes. <laughs> they could just but... put us there. Dude, yeah. Let us record a podcast yeah, from the exactly. concourse. I mean, they don't have to give us every, media, media every passes. Yeah, we, they, don't we don't need don't, anything. Yeah, we don't we need, need in the game. In. Yeah. We'll we don't need anything. <laughs> we don't care if we're in the game or not. Yeah. We will wear Pacer shirts and sit in the lobby in and the concourse. put up a sign that says book signing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we'll sign whatever book they bring. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. It's not our book signing. Yeah. We'll it's sign a book. book signing. Yeah. Exactly. We should write a book. Side note. Okay, True. let's do it. That would be funny. That would be a quote. What, what, what would it be? Lost in Thought, be? the podcast, the book, book. the series. <laughs> the series. <laughs> Volume one. <laughs> yeah. Volume one, chapter one, what? episode <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just a, we have no it's idea just what it's a about. word for word transcription of yeah, every one of the them. Moral of <laughs> we don't even write it. Just, <laughs> the moral, no, we'll the moral of that story transcript. is that the Pacers and Celtics trade, although I do think was much better for the Celtics, wasn't necessarily bad for the Pacers either because they no. got what they wanted. Yeah. So they needed so, to do what they they got what they needed to do out of the way. So the Celtics right. are now the, the favorites for They are the Vegas <laughs> title favorites now. Yeah. So, as a Celtics fan, I feel incredible about it. I, th- I, yeah, as a well, non Celtics fan, I feel care. like I don't even care that he's only played like 60 games each of the last three years, right? Because you have two other guards who are <laughs> equally talented starters. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, if he wants to play 60 games this year, then by all means, play I mean, 60 games this year. Out of the equation, you're still a championship caliber team, yeah. That, that they're exactly who they were this year. So, even if, yeah. you, if you only get 60 games of production out of them, say on average, right. You can still at least. I mean, you're going to be games, better. He's going to be better. They were the two seed this year without the sixty games. You yeah. have Brogdon in for sixty games. You're exactly. probably a one seed. Yeah, one hundred. Yeah, which means right. you have the easiest path to the championship for the playoffs. Yep. And you also then have. You have uh, Brogdon for the playoffs, right. where, who you desperately needed a guy like that by the time that you got to the Warriors. Yeah. You needed a reliable third option. And you that. needed a reliable third option to take pressure off the Jays. Off, and you yeah. needed somebody who wouldn't turn the ball over. 100. Yeah. Because what? that was the Marcus biggest issue. Smart. Well, <laughs> even with Marcus Smart, is no, I know. he's not the reliable scorer to be the play. So when he passes off and yeah. is doing his playmaking, he's playmaking to guys who immediately turn it over. Right. Yeah. And that's a perimeter presence. Brogdon will bring... Yeah, I mean, we'll that's, I mean that's a 50, that's the thing. Yeah. And then the other side that I, you know, think about it as a Celtics fan is their biggest weakness outside of the turnovers was they had no bench scoring. Yep. None. And they signed Gallinari today, too, who right. is 12 points in 20 minutes. So, I mean, even if he doesn't play defense, everyone else does. Who cares? Right. So yep. he's a 40. Two percent three point shooter or something ridiculous. Man's a sniper. Yeah, 
And so you really just need him to go in and hit the open threes that he's going to get because they can't primarily focus him. Yep. And in addition to that, you also now move Al to the bench because Brogdon's, I mean, there's an 80% chance he's going to be a starter. More likely than not. Because you'll get to move Tatum back to his natural four position. Yep. And so you move Al to the bench and now you have Al Gallinari and uh, Grant Williams all coming off your bench. Yeah, that's, it's huge. Yeah, yep. and you get a, so you got, I mean, that's 6'8", six, 6', six, whatever Grant is. They list him at 6'8", but that's a lie. And then 6'11", <laughs> 7 seven foot, and they can all guard, I mean, Gallinari can't guard anybody, but the other two can guard guards as well. So you can yeah. play Gallinari at the three or Grant technically at the three if you got wanted to. Grant can also play the five. Right. You pick up a backup center and you're good to go. Yeah. Because you traded ties. So you have so much more versatility. They it's, yeah, it's, which is wild because they were already probably the most, most versatile exact, team 100%. in the NBA. <laughs> and I mean They I mean, took the championship <laughs> like finals team in the championship, two games off of a championship, and added a twenty six and five guy yep. to it. And he's, yeah. he can defend. That's yeah. also, I mean, he's a the elite defender. The NBA's best defensive team just got a better, yeah, better defense essentially. Yeah, they had so. you now. If you're a guard on the other team, you go from sweating it out, you know, working for your life, playing against a starting guard set of Brogdon and Smart, and you know you're sweating for your life. You're working as hard as you have. Yeah. And then one of them goes to check out, and all of a sudden you look up, and Derek White checks in, and there's no drop off. Yeah, in the defense, and it's like, well, yeah. how is this fair? No, there is a reason they are Vegas favorites, and it's pretty. I mean, it's it's apparent. I think there's not been more of a clear cut team after these. I mean, yeah, you know, knock on wood, <clears throat> but just just looking at their at their bench, looking at their their starting five, and just. You know, one through, I mean, how many, it's one through nine, nine right? Right they, now. They're probably going to only play nine. Not, would they only played eight all year last year, yeah. which is what killed them because they didn't have depth. And that killed them by the time they got to the playoffs, Tatum was dead. Yep. Yeah. So, you, <laughs> so this year you have Gallinari to spell minutes in the regular season. And you also have Brogdon, too, now to take I mean, the scoring load off. You're now at where your one through nine was better than your one through eight last year. Yes. And that leaves you with the rotation players that you were going that you were playing last year in the one through eight, still in now the ten through fifteen. Yes. Because you'll move Peyton Pritchard down to yep. 10 exactly. and you'll have Sam Hauser again. Right. So now you can play ten, eleven deep yeah, yeah, you could. for the whole season. Yep. And then I move mean, to your eight to nine deep in the playoffs, which is already pretty deep for playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. People typically stick you and know, the nice thing, to too, about the Celtics is that health has been their biggest question for three years. If they could stay healthy, they were good. They mm-hmm. were an Eastern Conference Finals this year, a Finals team. Yep. The biggest thing that undid them was, even this year a little bit, which they survived it most of the way until the Finals, was Rob's wow. knee is one of the biggest question marks in the NBA. Yeah. Um, Al Horford is 36, turning 37. Yeah. So he can't play 35 minutes a night anymore like you would want him to. Yeah. And uh, Jalen missed one year in the playoffs and Tatum got hurt one year in the playoffs. So yep. your finals, I mean, your playoff runs were all killed by health. And, I, and most of it was because of how the sheer amount of minutes that they had to play. Right. And they don't have to do that anymore, yep. which is, should help a lot. No. I mean, Al can literally go back to playing 25 minutes a night and Rob can play 25 to 30 and Rob could play 60 games if you sign a center. Like they're looking at Thomas Bryant from the Wizards right now if they were able to yeah. acquire a guy like that. Hey, I know him. True, I know. And a different Thomas Bryant. <laughs> but uh, if they were to well, acquire... Not the same person. No. <laughs> Surprisingly not. If they were to acquire acquire a guy like that, then that gives Rob off days. Yeah. Where Rob doesn't have to play at all. Rob could play 60 games and you're fine because he can play the other, 
you know, I mean, he'll play other nights too. You go 10 deep, we give Rob even off days and games that he plays, he could plays less minutes. Yeah. And Al could come off the bench and also play as a slide in and start those days. It wouldn't be a big deal. So, yeah, I think another big thing for the Celtics specifically is um, that one of the, their next biggest issue, which injuries you can't control, but um, being turnovers is something that can can easily be fixed in the offseason. That's something you can yeah. work on and improve. Yeah. Um, I mean, um, and the nice part about it is the two guys who had the turnover problems are your two best players. So you know they're going to work to get better, but also they're 24 and 25. Yeah. Yep. No, exactly. And that's so, my point. And the, them being yeah. young and <clears throat> their biggest issue being something that's very, very fixable makes them a serious, serious threat, not only in the Eastern Conference, but to win the whole entire Which is why I think thing. that they're, you know, they were one of the teams that everyone thought would be in a KD mix. And I don't think they're even interested no, now. No, which I, I did see. Be. I did they see today need, yeah. the one that everyone's like, "Oh, what if they trade JB for Kevin Durant?" I'm like, Kevin Durant is better, but that is very stupid because Kevin yeah. Durant is 34, Jalen Brown is 25, and was the second best player on a Finals team this oh, year. Yeah. You, you, yeah. I mean, everybody's trying to say that like it's opening the championship window, but it's really closing it earlier. Yeah, and it makes can, it shorter. Yeah, it makes this one a little bit wider, but it's only for a year or two, and then it's closed. Yeah, and people tend to undermine the importance of chemistry. And True. KD's one of those guys that could come in and potentially ruin chemistry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our, is it, but also it, he would have the to only adjust. Time, to, the only time he ever didn't ruin chemistry was when he took essentially the fourth role. Yeah, I mean, yep. he was the primary. Second, I guess he was second scorer op- scoring option, but in terms of media, he was like the fourth guy. Yeah, when he was in Golden State, like he was the fourth most covered because Steph is Steph. He's gonna get the most coverage right. wherever he's at, and Clay is his Splash Brother. So the Splash Brothers got looped together as like getting the, a lot of the coverage, and Draymond doesn't shut up, so he gets yeah. all the coverage he wants. Yeah. Yeah. And so it took KD to where he could just sit in the back and not have to worry about the media yep. a ton. He just had to play. And then and when he went back that. in the media eye again and went off on his own, it crumbled in two years. Yep. Which, given, he chose the worst person in the world to try yeah. and do that with. Yeah. That was a mistake. Yep. But, you know, guess live and you learn. Somebody else will learn next. Probably the Lakers. So. True. So before before we go to Overwatch 2, um, there was one other big trade, and that was Rudy Gobert to the Grizzlies. I don't understand. I'll Which, never understand. For my jazz, I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that you like the jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell, it's our time. <laughs> yeah, so, for the jazz, it seemed like a great deal. It's so incredible. Yeah. So what was it? It was technically four first round. Four first rounds this, for, this year's this first year, round pick, guaranteed. too. So pretty much five first rounds. rounds. Exactly. And three of those four are fully unprotected. One of the four is top, top five. five. And five. Guaranteed, yeah. Theoretically, with Minnesota, they're not going to be top five. Right. Because their starting lineup is pretty good. They they're just gave be, up a ton to get it. Yeah, yeah. they're just, they're going to be just, if at their worst, they're going to be just good enough to where they don't get in that top five. Yes. And so it's pretty much four guaranteed. And for first. Rudy Gobert, granted, he what he's won two, three time, three, three time, right? Defensive Which, player of the I mean, year. I mean, yeah, that is completely fair. But his production in the postseason has right. been horrendous. Yeah, I was going to say subpar, Exploited. but that doesn't for, even that doesn't even do it justice for I mean, about horrible the types he's played. of runs that Donovan Mitchell has had in the playoffs. It has been disrespectful. Oh yeah, for Rudy Gobert <laughs> to bring that team down so far. Whenever Donovan Mitchell is in the bubble fighting for his life, <laughs> and he's like, pun- like man's he gets- averaging like forty a game yeah. in the playoffs, and it's and just the- like, could I get any help? Yeah, and, and like- the man shooting from like forty feet, yeah. <laughs> he's, and like- he's just hitting everything. <laughs> like- and you know, like he's trying to get his team going, and like he hits some crazy and one, and I just, it's just because I remember it, like falling away, gets hit to the ground, and just punches his fist in the air and yells like, "Let's go." All for, you know, Rudy Gobert to 
inbound at the next one straight to the other team and the game's over <laughs> and they lose and he just has to go over to Jamal Murray and go you win I guess <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it, but definitely some questionable decisions. I, but vote, I think that the Grizzlies. Jazz are in a great spot. I do, yeah, too. I love I it. Oh, yeah. I don't know that they're in a great spot for this year, but That's they're fair. in a great spot for the next few years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Next five years. <laughs> I mean, Donovan Mitchell's only 24, 25. He's young. 24 and an all-star. Yeah. And, so, I mean, he's... And they well, said that they're just, not. They said they're not moving him. They said they're building around him. Yes, and it's Danny Ainge, so that's definitely true. I learned from experience. So, and this is probably so you open up your max slot again. Yep. And then this is also pro. I think it's the first. This next year will be like the first year of Donovan Donovan's two, extension. Two slot. Right. Who? For next year, this is the last year of Michael Conley or Mike Conley, isn't it? Yes. So two and max he's on slots a max as well. Open up next year. This is the first year of Mitchell's max. It's, yeah. So, so you have his low end rookie max. So what? He's at twenty seven, twenty eight, which is nothing for this salary cap anymore. Yeah. Because it just rose again. So you have two, kind of like two and a half basically of max slots. That's a lot of talent you can add. Who's oh, up yeah. in the next couple of years? And. I'm you know, open. there's not really people that don't like Donovan Mitchell. They know yeah. they know how hard he goes. A lot Some, of players like him. Yeah. So that's, that's true. That's really cool. The only pitfall being Utah is not the most uh, desirable yeah. market. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's pretty much it. Now, on the bright side, <laughs> their jerseys go hard. Just, their well, jerseys not anymore. Are really- Wait, what? What? Oh, did did the, you see the new ones? The purple ones? No, the brand new ones. Which ones? Yeah. That's them, right? Didn't they debut the really stupid looking ones? They Which changed ones? their whole scheme. They look like the construction worker vest. Was it the yellow, the bright Maybe yellow? Maybe it is. They just debuted three, and they're horrible. They changed. They rebranded their whole thing. They got yeah. rid of the orange. What? The orange ones went that, hard. The, the orange ones were so good. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, that's. Terrible. That's yeah, awful. Yeah, they look like the construction worker vest. Yeah, you're right. Black's not terrible. The black one's not bad, but it's the it's the alternate. But they did bring back the purple with the mountains. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that cool. Really, yeah. Yeah. What is that? The there are two main ones. Are the, the yellow. yellow one is terrible. It's the terrible. yellow this one is the primary water. color. The yellow oh. one's one of their main ones. It's not yeah. even a secondary yellow and white color. Was their two main ones? Yeah. The, the black I, one was like the association or whatever the alternate's the called. I'm honestly not mad city? about. It's yes, yeah, city. And then the, the other one's the throwback, whatever they call the throwback. The white one, one actually, I'm not mad about. It's, it's just a, super plain. E- exactly. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. It's so simple that, you know, sometimes the simplicity is nice. Which the black well, one is also super simple. Yeah, and I think on the black one, the simple makes thing, it better. My the white thing one, not as much. about them, right? My biggest issue is I feel like I could go into a YMCA gym and get one of those reversible jerseys, <laughs> and that's exactly what they did true. with the yellow one. That's true. Yep. yep. The yellow and black one. I feel like that's you like could you could flip, flip it inside out and it would have the other jersey on the inside. Just like, just like high school practice jerseys. Yeah, yeah. That's like, I'm like, I'm like, what are we doing oh, mama. here? <laughs> oh my. Oh no, you can see. <laughs> oh, no. Good boy, Jeff. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch but, yeah. 2 and Joker Queen and her big axe. I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was interesting. I'm like. I think the Jazz are in a good spot, though. Yeah, no, I'm excited about it. I think they're in a better it. spot. I mean, I think they're in a better long-term spot than most teams. I mean, And yeah. they got another pick yesterday from Brooklyn, who's no oh. one knows what Brooklyn's going to be. Danny Ainge doing Danny Ainge thing. Because they <laughs> traded Royce O'Neal to Brooklyn straight up for a one. Yeah, because it's Danny Ainge. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh, somebody's offering a first. I don't is care that a, who it is. Is that a quality <laughs> starter? Yeah. Who cares? He's like, as long as it's not Donovan Mitchell, I will trade anybody on this <laughs> roster for a first round pick. <laughs> it's not a bad take either. It, to be well, honest, yeah. it wouldn't be bad to trade Mike Conley now. No, it wouldn't. Trade him for Russ. Oh. <laughs> Mike Conley. <laughs> Mike Conley. Two seconds for SGA. Who says no? Uh, the Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Who's even available? Are there any other stars available other than Kyrie and Katie? We're at Westbrook. That's it. <laughs> you might oh. want to keep Mike Conley. Yeah, though, might keep Mike point. Conley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Save so. money and keep your shooting. Sign and trade for Aiden. 
that would be good. Aiden will at least shoot mm. up to 15 feet. I mean, Gobert wouldn't even do that. But yeah, yeah. so more of the story is the NBA free agency is on fire right now. It is now. crazy. And it's also going to probably get bigger in the next few days because Katie and Kyrie should be soon. They'll, they'll be playing yeah. somewhere. Somebody else was soon too. Oh, it wasn't anyone big. Never mind. It was Celtics related. It was Thomas Bryant was supposed to decide oh, right, by. right, right, He yeah. was supposed to decide by today. Gotcha. Cool. All right. So Overwatch 2 beta. Woo! It's back. It's fun. Yeah, it's... It, so let me go on a little bit pros of Pros and here. cons. So... We're going to make a pros and cons list. So, Use the chalk. <laughs> yeah, throw me the chalk. No. So anyways, pros. Junker Queen, fun character. Very fun. I think she's... What about her big axe? It's, very fun. It's very fun. Nice. Love slapping people around with it. <laughs> and her, um, the balance of her character seems to be in a pretty good spot. There probably needs to be some minute tweaking. I don't, I can, I don't, you know. Her ult's kind of a bit broken, if used correctly. I, I don't even know if her ult's necessarily bro- broken. Her old generation seems a little low. I, That's I don't know. True. They, they need to do some, just little tweaks. It's not. I don't, you know, it's it's a lot more balanced, balanced than, than any character they put in in, in a long time when they got launched. Yeah, so and but, to be fair, yeah. that's probably because it's a beta. Yeah, no, and, and that's fine. They're not trying to hype the character; they're just trying to actually balance their game. Yeah, which, but to be fair, even that kind of contradicts the point being that this character is more balanced in the beta than the characters they've released yeah. into live service. But yeah, bes- besides the point. So she's fun to play. Um, she incorporates really well with the rest of the cast, in my opinion. Yep. Um, but I I, I don't see what Blizzard's trying to accomplish with these betas with the at betas? this point. Yeah, that's a fair point. Like they're not very, they're not very uh, let's say direct with us when it comes to no the uh, purpose. The betas, they're just telling you what's happening. They're just telling us what's happening, and like this is basically a new character. And I guess they are doing some stress testing with their servers, which is fine. They're but trying. It seems like they're being overly cautious. They're being overly cautious, and I think it's going to be because to their it detriment. Does feel as though the game could have launched already? And I think it probably should have just launched already at this point. Yeah, because like we have everything that's new except for one character. Yeah, exactly. And then we know that character already exists because they already. I mean, it's not been announced officially who it is, but it's been leaked. Right. So there and they was, they had the character in a trailer, and it's not like they're developing an entire new character right now. They're putting a game that launches in October. Yeah, and, and so like it's already been developed. So you've made the community wait for three plus years for just new content in general. Now you released the first beta, and it, I think it went pretty well. It was pretty positive. Yeah. I think most people liked it. I mean, just across the board with the with the you know the just the normal average gamer. All the way up into the high competitive um, scene, but so that went well. But what are you trying to accomplish now? I know you're throwing in a new character, but there needs to be some sense of direction. Especially, you need to build off the hype and be a little bit more aggressive than That's passive. True. They're not capitalizing on their hype. Be- they're not capitalizing on, gotcha. on on their hype at this point. And it, for I could understand if they needed more time to develop core fundamental. Uh, assets and ideas into the game. That would make sense if you're, you know, you still need time. But for sure, I mean, you're you're just re-imaging Overwatch. This is just almost a DLC to the original Overwatch, right? Which I'm perfectly fine with. It's just a yeah. matter of how you're releasing it doesn't make a lot of sense. Sense, and I, you know, I want I, I want the game to succeed, and the reason why I'm so critical of it is because we want it to do well because we're very passionate about it and we enjoy it, and um. It's just just seeing how Blizzard has taken their company, especially with the recent advents of Diablo Immortal. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's more like Diablo Immoral. Am I right? Uh, I don't get it. So basically... Use the last nine minutes to explain. So basically, Diablo Immo- Immortal. <laughs> I almost said Immoral. Pavlovian uh, Is... You know, have you heard of the Diablo series? Yeah. It's an ARPG, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyways, they released a free-to-play game, and if you want to max out your character, yes. they did the calculations, it would cost you a, pretty much a hundred grand. 
Not bad. <laughs> oh, so it's like a pay to win. So yeah, basically, it's I mean, pay to win. So, I mean, so how long would it take you if you didn't pay anything? You would never be able to gotcha. catch up, essentially. Right. So there's wow. no, there's no. Is that the it, one that they only released on mobile? Well, they released it originally. They only said it was going to be on mobile, but then they decided to port it to PC, and it was a pretty sloppy port as well. So gotcha. It, it's just you know they're making action. I knew like that this, game was a mess, and I, you, we would have to go in a lot deeper to go through all the heinous acts that Blizzard is <laughs> in, doing to Diablo Immortal and committing and taking advantage of their player base like that. That's, that would be a whole. I thought you were just going to say heinous acts that Blizzard committed. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's <laughs> like there's, there's a, plenty of there's those a too. Lot worse than that. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not to be the moral compass of our audience, but they've done some pretty awful, other awful things as well. Yeah. Um. But, uh, with, with, with Overwatch, they just man, they just need just release it. It's just, yeah. just release it as because it, it's good. It's it really it's, very, it, it, it's so re- much better than the first one. It's it's so much better. What they have is but they fine and people would understand with you know because if they're going to be a live service game, why are they advertising it as like almost like they're not advertising it really as a live? You know what I mean? Because the way they're handling this release right now is more indicative of something that would be like a full release like where a, you get all the content at like once. Like a COD release. Like a COD release, right? That's how it seems like. But with a live service game, typically you can go ahead and release your product and still build off of it as time goes on. I mean, you see Fortnite. You, similar, yeah, Fortnite, Which is right? the model that they're trying to go to. Right. But they didn't do a great job of it. They're not right. doing... Yeah. Which I think once it launches, they will do a great job of it. Yeah. It's just a matter of it should have launched already. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I think they are they could lose a lot of interest in the meantime. By the in time the, it gets in the there. Interim, yeah. It could get... I mean, there's a lot of a lot of time left until it actually launches. And, and who knows what right. could happen in the, you know, with the gaming industry and the way it is. You're just banking on the hype staying all the way until October. Which... Right. Which the hype are, will be on this channel. Yeah. We'll be hyped. Yeah. We'll be hyped. Whether it's good yeah. or not. Yeah. Because we play the first one and it's hot garbage. <laughs> yeah. So, long story short, over if you love Overwatch, you will love Over- Overwatch yeah. too. I mean, you will. It, it's, it's Overwatch, well, except even if you don't, they love fixed Overwatch, everything. You may right. even like Overwatch too. It's just with the antics of Blizzard, um, <laughs> with how they've been handling recent, um. Recent events, we'll put it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll put it vague. Which, if you want to know more about it, you can do some research. There's plenty of stuff on it, and I think that this is will help, especially after the game is launched. I think the Microsoft buyout will help. I hope they start weeding out a lot of the leadership and then implementing new leadership. They're but just trying to get the, the game core. launched first. Yeah, the dev yeah. team should stay. The dev team is great. The dev team's great. The 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 individuals who are the writers and the animators who make the, the art skits guys are awesome yeah. too and make the skins are phenomenal the they skins are look great talented. the ones that they leaked are the mythic skin looks incredible yeah like the stuff the stuff they they've done has always been good throughout the life cycle of Overwatch so they do a phenomenal job and deserve every it's bit of credit it's just a matter of the get. people that make the final decisions at the top for a while have kind of screwed over the rest of the game. So, right. so yeah. yeah. So, long story short, if you're looking to get in the beta, unfortunately, it looks like you can't sign up right now. Rest I don't know in if peace, you'll be able Alex. to. Unless you... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Alex. Um, we tried our best. Unless you spend, if you pre-order to spend the, what is it, the $40 edition, the $39.99? Yes. To get the... Which we did. Looking at battle pass. We spent $40 on a free and game. And I would advise <laughs> nobody do that please don't don't pre-order yeah. games especially and it's with not the, that we had a shit. bad experience with pre-ordering this game no no it's and, that we just in general as advice from us to you say that you probably in this state of gaming shouldn't be pre-ordering games yes because yes. N- and nate's and Nate, a lot of nate's reason comes from he pre-ordered cyberpunk yeah which was the biggest disaster in gaming and yeah. this <laughs> Maybe ever. Maybe, it went terrible. Maybe not ever. Maybe not ever. Because maybe not ever. But definitely the, this you know, generation of gaming. Battlefield 2042 did happen, so that one's yeah, also yeah. That's fair. But all right. But yeah, overall, just to sum things up. Beta was good. It's great. They're doing a lot of phenomenal changes. It's kind of more of the leadership team direction and, and yeah. the marketing and media team how they're 
not the media team, but the marketing team, how they're um, sending this out is a little bit, little bit dubious. So. Yeah. Sure. So, all right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Before Happy Fourth of July. Before we leave, real quick. Yo. Did you guys? I I don't know. You didn't. Did you see Ashton's baseball team won, won. the championship? No, I did see it. Oh, you did see it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I saw it. Nice. My mom was there. Ooh, yeah. Congratulations, to Ashton, did and you, your baseball team. Did you hear that in the game before the championship one? He fouled two off. Yeah. That's pretty good. He hit one, and no. then he grounded out in the championship. Well, that's... Hey, he's clutch. Did he move a runner? I yeah. think he did, yeah. Oh, my that's, goodness. That's, he that's, was, all you can, that's baseball. Well, that's yeah, baseball. Just right. playing he's, baseball. He's just playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ground out no, that was a sacrifice true. Yeah. <laughs> just took him seven years of his life they got him by a step <laughs> on the at first things happen man yep <laughs> just doing your job move the runner over and do yeah. your job hey he was playing chess and they were playing check yeah, that's right <laughs> true they thought they were happy getting that out but good job ash and wait good job ash and, and yeah, the team, what was their team name yeah. i couldn't tell you couldn't tell you. All right. Well, it's not Shout the out. black team. They're orange. Yeah. Go orange team. Shout out to the orange beat team. the black team in the what semifinals. The team? I don't oh, well. know. Well, <laughs> it's not we important. don't care. Yeah. Good job, Ashton. Good job. Woo. Woo. All right. So, uh, like we say, you know, at least we want to say at the end of every podcast, this is an interactive community. We like to get your thoughts and opinions of this episode and also your thoughts and opinions for potential things we can do in next and our, our following episodes. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and, and ring subscribe. that bell. That's a thing, right? <laughs> and ring that little Ooh. bell so you get notified each time we a have Lost a, we have a bell, podcast right? stream and yeah, we fixed that. Yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, we... <laughs> so yeah, Lost in Thought podcast stream. You get notified if you hit the bell. You get the notifications oh, for our streams and our podcasts. Oh yeah, also subscribe. Also, yeah, we lost YouTube. We lost some subscribers. We don't yeah. know what happened. We think the cats got purged, probably. But that yeah. happens on YouTube and every once in a while. We're, we're calling everyone Lydians now. So you are now the Lydians. You're now Lydians. Shout out to all the Lydians out there. So Shout that being out. said, happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, and thanks for watching. Peace, Goodbye. peace, peace, peace. <laughs>